Florida Turnpike, heading north to Ocala. Uh, it's Sunday morning, uh, the end of February, and I'm going to be doing maybe a two or three nights there. I'm not sure. I'm going to play it by ear. One day, uh, it's supposed to rain and be windy. Uh, we'll see if that happens. But I'm going to be going up to Alexander Springs today. I'll be spending the night tonight in the van. Uh, actually, this will be the first time spending the night in this van with it all finished. So I have running water, electricity, I've stocked up on food. I mean, I'm ready to go. It's a shame Nancy couldn't um, do this with me this weekend, but uh, not this week, following weekend, uh, we'll be able to do something together. We're coming back up North Florida. So anyway, I am on my way, headed northbound. campsite this is it number 15 Alexander Springs it's got a brand new grill place to hang stuff bear box fire pit large picnic table tent sites I guess you could put a couple tents back here you can't back your uh, van further back here because it's blocked off but pretty secluded. I picked a good one here. It's close to the uh, Florida Trail too, so get up in the morning, I'll be able to uh, get right on the uh, trailhead and I'll park over there tonight. I mean tomorrow. So anyway, should have a good night tonight. I think I'll run up over to the uh, thing. I'll grab some firewood, make myself some dinner tonight and enjoy it. Well, this is Alexander Springs. As you can see, there's a ton of people out there swimming. It's gotta be hot in summer before I go in there. Crystal clear water. I did swim in here uh, last time I uh, did our through hike. Oh yeah. Well, I'm here all settled and rested. I stopped at uh, Publix before I came up here, Publix grocery store, and I got myself an ultimate a spinach wrap. I was gonna hike this in tomorrow morning, but tomorrow, but maybe I will half of it. I don't know how, how it was saved, but I'm eating it now. Lunch. And I'll um, <clears throat> cook up my dinner tonight. Got firewood. I got some kindling. Should be able to do a fire pretty easy. Um, I wanted to cook in the van, <laughs> but I got a, a picnic table out there. I got a grill. I got everything out there. I guess I'll just cook outside tonight, but I'll save the cooking in the van for when Nancy's here. Well, Mm, this is really good. I know I'm not going to save it the other half for tomorrow. I'm hungry. It's about 2 o'clock. I walked down to, I did a video, I don't know if I'll post that video before I do this one, but I just walked down to the springs. There were a lot of people down there. I didn't want to um, really get into videotaping with people around and stuff, but can see where the canoe and kayak launch was. Water's nice and clean. I did come here, it was it 2019, when I threw hike the um, Ocala section with uh, Devin and uh, Dalton. And we did, I did jump in the water there. It was really cold. I'm not doing it this trip. <laughs> Living here in Florida, it's gotta be at least 90 degrees before I go in the water. But, let me go ahead and talk with my mouth full. 
really pretty here. This is campsite number 15. The place to park tomorrow behind the gate where the van will be safe. And I don't know, you know what? Let me guys know, I, I just feel really, I like to drive through these trailheads, park the van and go hike for a day or two. But after doing this work on this, God, I just feel like I don't want to leave this thing out in the open where it could be vandalized or broken into. So I'm trying to park uh, behind the gates uh, and state parks, national parks and stuff like that. But what do, what do you guys think about that for you banners out there? Uh, will I get over that? <laughs> but right now, wow, I don't uh, I don't feel like I will. So anyway, I will park over there tomorrow morning and hit the trailhead. And I'll probably hike about 10 miles and camp out. I have a feeling, though, it's, there's about a 60% chance of rain showers and later on in the afternoon going into the evening. So we'll see how that works out. I, I guess it is what it is. Um, I may st then spend another night, go a little bit further in. We'll see. Um, so that's it. I'm going to finish my sandwich and hang out here. Maybe do another walk around, see what's going on around here. But again, this is number 15. It's close to, not real close, but close to the front entry. But it's really secluded back here. Nobody's behind you. Uh, there's a campsite across the street. One down there, but this is number 15. And uh, for future reference, you got the showers and bathrooms are right up there. And... Uh, you can get firewood right at the main gate there. And I actually bought some firewood and carried it here uh, because it's that short of a walk. So future reference, come to Alexander Springs. Number 15 is really good. So this is basically, this is same day. I'm following the blue trail. I think it's about a half a mile or so. I'll check on that, but that takes us to the Florida Trail. So this is where I'll be starting tomorrow morning, heading off in this direction. I thought I'd just give it a little walk tonight, check it out. I've been down this before, but you know, it's only, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. So I'm not gonna sit around camp and do nothing. I'm going for a walk. <laughs> This is absolutely fantastic. I like to caramelize my peppers, red peppers, green peppers, onions. These are spicy sausages. <clears throat> I did pre-boil them. 
and then cooked them. Um, I was going to put them on buns, but I forgot to buy them. So, no carbs. These are excellent just as they are, though. Hey guys, I'm going to wrap this up tonight. Um, I'm going to start out on the trailhead early tomorrow morning. I'm going to do about 10 and a half miles. So I should get up nice and early and uh, hopefully it's not going to rain tomorrow. It's calling for some rain in the afternoon, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to end this here tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning. Night. Bye-bye.